Now, it's situations like one at the Covenant School when police and SROs can uh, just play a huge pivotal role. School resource officers from around the southeast in central Alabama this week training to handle events like the one in Nashville. WVTM 13's Chip Scarborough live at Vestavia Hill School where training is taking place, Chip. That's right, Guy and Brittany. The school resource officer training is taking place here on the campus of Vestavia Hills High School all week long since it's spring break, and it certainly is timely given what just happened in Nashville. We've got some more cases we're going to look at. Law enforcement officers from near and far are spending this week in the library of Vestavia High School's freshman campus. Some are already school resource officers, and others are preparing to take on the challenge. Seeing images of what's coming out of Nashville and what's coming out of the, the school attack up there is, you know, just chilling. I mean, it sends chills up your spine thinking that that's still so close to home. This group of more than 50 SROs is not only learning how to better protect students and teachers and how to maintain a safe learning environment, but also how to promote a positive climate. But they can't help but think about what happened in Nashville. I think it's a little... Um, unnerving to some of them because they see what's happening and they know that this could happen at their school at any time. All the more reason to be focused on school security and plugged into what's happening at school, being more than just an armed guard at the door. One of the things we recommend is that the officer comes and takes the basic class before they start to work in a school. And before someone becomes an actual SRO, experts say they have to know why it is they're wanting to take on the job. They need to know their why. You know, maybe it's because they have a an interest in that school. They graduated from there, they're an alumni, and they want to better their school and their community. It may be that uh, they have a genuine liking for children, which is one of the basic requirements to work in a school. And it's important to point out that SROs are already sworn certified law enforcement officers, so they're not really learning how to become a police officer. They're just learning how to better function in a school environment. Live in Vestavia tonight, Chip Scarborough, WVTM 13.